Canada is sending its first rover to the moon, and you have a chance to leave your mark on its mission. The Canadian Space Agency is hosting a contest asking for your input. They want you to vote on name options. Those include Athabasca, Courage, Glacier, and Polar. Sadly, Roe v. McRover face did not make the cut. But we are joined this morning by planetary geologist and professor at Western University, Gordon Ozinski, to tell us more about Canada's Lunar ro Rover program. Welcome to your morning. I'm having trouble hearing you at the moment, but can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yes, NASA, we do not have a problem. Um, looking, <laughs> looking at NASA, though, they have names like Sojourner, Spirit, Opportunity, Curiosity, and Perseverance for their rovers. How important is this, uh, this naming process for this to the space agency? I think it's incredibly important, you know, we really want to take this opportunity to, well, first of all, you know, let Canadians know that Canada is developing this, our first ever rover mission to go to another planetary body. And I think giving it a name really, you know, personifies the mission. Um, right now, it's the lunar rover mission. And, you know, it's not terribly exciting. And um, I'm excited to be able to uh, offer this opportunity to the public to get involved. Oh, what will rover's purpose be? So our rover is going to the South Polar region of the moon, which is actually somewhere where kind of no one has ever gone before. Um, it's an incredibly exciting area on the moon. There's lots of interesting geology, um, but it's also a region where we think that water ice might be present. And that actually comes through in a couple of the names, uh, the potential names for this rover as well as the search for ice on the moon. Ooh, I like that. So the rover is apparently going to offer a major contribution to the NASA-led Artemis program. How will Lunar Rover, until it gets a name, how will its job on the moon further efforts around that mission? Yeah, so there's a lot of excitement about going to this region of the moon. Other nations have, you know, set their goals on going to uh, this uh, this site too. Um, the Artemis program, as you're quite right, uh, will hopefully be launching in a few years' time, taking humans to the same region of the moon. But you know, this is a giant region. It's over 2,000 kilometers across. You know, what might be true in one place might not be in another. And so there's definitely a need for sending, you know, lots of robotic missions, both ahead of when we send humans uh, in parallel and then afterwards as well to answer these important science questions. What excites you most about this mission? Uh, it, I think strictly it's the first ever mission for Canada. You know, so not only is it the first ever rover mission that we're building, but this will be the first time that Canada is leading a planetary exploration mission. Uh, we've had, you know, instruments get to the surface of the moon and Mars before, but it's always been as part of another country's mission. And so to me, you know, the most exciting thing about this is Canada is, is leading this. We're in the driving seat for the first time. Okay, we mentioned, and I want to remind everybody at home again, the names on the list are Athabasca, Courage, Glacier, and Polar. Which one do you like? What would you pick? Oh, I've, I've been making a statement right now because I'm the, the science lead for the mission and the principal investigator. I'm actually recusing myself, excusing oh. myself from, from, you know, publicly saying what uh, I would like to have it be so that, you know, again, the Canadian public can have their say and we'll see which, one, which name bubbles to the top. That was a very, I mean, but honestly, between you and I, if you had to pick, do you have a favorite? I, I actually, I have, I'm having a really hard time deciding between these four. I mean, I think all four are great. And again, to me, a lot of the, you know, they all kind of capture what this mission is doing. You know, we're taking a lot of courage to do this first mission. And then, you know, Glacier and Polar really speak to both you know, Canada being a polar nation, having a lot of glaciers and mountains and things, uh, but also uh, what we're trying to do and where we're going on the moon as well. So it's a tough one for me. Well, one of our hosts, Lindsay DeLuce, loves to shorten things. And if we go with polar, we could call it a ropo, like the rover polar. I think that one works really well. Or, you know, I understand that your nickname is Oz, so maybe they could just call it Oz. <laughs> you know, some of my friends on uh, Facebook, when I posted the competition, actually responded with that. So. We, we, it's not in the running, I'm afraid. <laughs> All right, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning, Professor. Thank you, and uh, yeah, please go out and vote. Yeah, oh, we should remind everybody, how can they vote? Because the voting is still open, right? Yeah, it's open till uh, mid-December, just before the holidays. Um, you'll be able to go to the Canadian Space Agency website and you know, hopefully find it fairly easily if you put, you know, name Canada's rover into a search engine. Canada Space Agency, do it. It'll be something fun to do with your kids. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thanks, Emery.
If you liked that video, make sure to subscribe to the Your Morning YouTube feed where you can find all kinds of new content posted every weekday morning.